This video is intended to give you a short overview of the SMAP 3D plant design products. PNID is an intelligent 2D program for process engineering. The package contains an extensive symbol library along with an intelligent component database. The assembly design shown here is ready to be modified with additional components. For this we open the database and leverage the extensive search to find a pump. By double clicking on the entry we automatically get the matching symbol at the cursor and can place it on the diagram sheet. As soon as the symbol is inserted onto the sheet you are prompted for a tag number. With the button Next Free you can ensure not to duplicate tag numbers in the project. All other parameters such as connection sizes have been automatically written to the symbol from the intelligent database. In addition we can store process specific information as a symbol data field. We assume water with a temperature of 60 degrees is to be pumped here. Now with all the components placed we will begin to draw the pipelines. Select the line style of your choice from the pick menu and begin to sketch the pipeline route. Now we will open the line data. First assign a pipeline number and then a pipe spec along with the diameter. Working with pipe specs increases process safety and efficiency. Similar to the symbol data fields, we can also enter process specific information here. The software automatically generates an intelligent line tag from the existing information. If you lose perspective, the line link can help you keep the overview. We use the place from specification to place a shutoff valve in the pipeline. Thus the software automatically filters out all parts approved in this size and specification of pipe. The auto naming function gives a suitable tag number for the symbol. The symbol is then automatically rotated to align with the pipe path. In addition, a different actuator shall be displayed. To do this we select the desired state from the drop down menu. In addition, the tank B2001 should be equipped with a bypass. This procedure is the same as it was for the first pipe. We draw our pipe route, then we select the pipe spec and the diameter. With the design check tool, the project can be checked for problems and errors. Any errors encountered are identified in a list. By clicking on them, they're highlighted so they can be easily corrected. In this example, the pipe diameter does not match the nozzle on the vessel. We can easily solve the problem by placing a reducer. And now we can change the diameter of the pipe. In a project, various lists and reports can be generated automatically. Our project already includes a maintenance list for pumps and tanks and a parts list. Now we will add a component list from the Explorer window. On the component list, all parts are sorted by their tag numbers. With a double click, we can easily jump to the corresponding components on their diagram page. The symbols can now be processed further. Besides exporting as a DXF and a DWG, we can also export out as a smart PDF. We build an additional line to each vessel and place the pump. If we hover our mouse over the pump, all stored parameters are automatically displayed at the cursor. Now we want to see how to get these changes into the 3D environment. First we refresh the to-do list. This loads all the new changes from the PNID project and color codes them. With both programs open next to each other, intelligent linking is easily visible. If you select an item in the to-do list, it will be highlighted in the PNID as well as in the 3D environment. 
we would like to start the construction on the bypass of our vessel. The function show from two points highlights the correct connection information on the vessel. We use the to-do list functions to easily create a new subassembly for the planned pipeline. The auto route function can be used to create pipeline paths quickly and easily. By clicking on the two connection points, SMAP 3D piping automatically generates a suitable pipe route. This can be adjusted afterwards as required. As soon as we close the sketch, piping automatically completes the pipeline. All required fittings are pulled from the 3D library and placed in the path. As soon as the pipeline is finished, it acts as a native 3D component in your CAD system. Next, we will place the pump. At this point, we would like to show how easy it is in SMAP 3D to use parts that you have not constructed yourself. For this example, we have the pump as a step file as you might have received it from the manufacturer or downloaded it from the internet. Place the pump in our assembly and define its position. Using the to-do list, the component attributes from PNID are assigned to the 3D model. We use the to-do list functions to easily create a new subassembly for the planned pipeline. A more complex path can be drawn freely according to your requirements using the manual route mode. We start at the pump and draw a path to the tank freely according to your wishes. When sketching the pipeline path, we already get a preview of the pipeline we are creating. Then we can dimension the path. Currently, we have the mode Basic Engineering activated. As soon as you close the sketch, a simplified representation of the pipeline is displayed. This provides a quick visual overview of the piping path. With just one click, we can replace the simplified pipe with a detail version. Now we have the valve and the reducer missing in this pipeline. You can easily place both of them from the to-do list. Click on the valve and insert it into the assembly. Through our Quick Place technology, it is very easy to insert it into the pipeline. We use the same process to place the reducer conveniently from the to-do list.
Now piping recalculates the pipeline and automatically places all additionally required components such as flanges and gaskets. With the Remove and Adapt Pipe function, unnecessary pipe sections can be removed easily. If required, lines can be extended independently of PNID with pure piping functions. In this case, pipe supports should be added to the pipeline. The position of the pipe supports can be changed later. Once the processing is complete, the entire to-do list is displayed in green. This means all of the components and information from PNID have now been placed into the 3D assembly. To determine whether bent tubes can be manufactured, SMAP3D offers bending simulation as well. To do this, a user opens the tool and starts simulation. The software now selects the appropriate combination from an extensive library of machines and tools and checks whether this tube can be bent in the way it was designed. As a result, the designer can now see at a glance whether the pipeline they have created can also be manufactured. If you click on Details, the user gets a video in which the bending process is simulated. With SMAP3D isometric, fabrication drawings of 3D pipelines can be generated rapidly. During the generation, all available information from the pipeline is read in and used to create the isometric drawing. Subsequently, different templates can be selected resulting in different layout options. This determines how the production relevant information is mapped on the isometric drawing. The isometric can be viewed or edited further in an appropriate program. The finished drawing can be output either as DXF or a DWG. A PCF file is created and forms the interface in the production. This was just a subset of our products. As you can see, we offer a variety of different solutions for plant construction. Please visit our website for more information at smap3d.com.